When Darwin placed a blindfold on a growing coleoptil, he observed that the plant no longer grew toward the light. This suggested that something in the tip of the coleoptil was responsible for this directed growth. Other experiments demonstrated that even when the tip is removed and a layer of auger placed between the tip and the base, the plant still grows toward the light. This suggests that the light-sensitive signal can travel through a permeable barrier, directing the plant's growth. If the severed tip is replaced on the growing shoot so that it covers only half of the exposed cut, the side touching the tip grows faster than the other side, causing the coleoptal to curve even in the dark. This demonstrates that the signal does not migrate across the shoot. The Dutch botanist Fritz W. Wendt wanted to find out if he could isolate this signal from the coleoptal tips. First, he removed the tips of oat plant coleoptals. Next, he placed the detached tip onto a block of auger. After one hour, he discarded the tip and positioned the auger on decapitated coleoptals in such a way that the block only covered half the exposed cut. What do you suppose happened when Went placed the auger back on the decapitated coleoptal? Click on the coleoptal on the right that represents the likely result of this experiment. When Went placed the auger block on one side of the decapitated shoot, the shoot curved away from the auger as it grew. This demonstrated that some kind of hormonal signal had diffused into the auger from the coleoptal tips. This hormone had then diffused into the growing coleoptal. The hormone, subsequently called auxin, caused the growing plant to curve, even in the absence of light. Wendt's experiment represented the first time that anyone had isolated a hormone from plants.